What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to talk about some upcoming basketball sneakers that you might want to grab the hoop in. If you see something you like, hit the like button, share the video. Without further ado, let's get into these sneakers, you dig? First up, we're going to talk about an OD that's coming back for 2023, the Reebok Blast. Not to be confused with the Reebok Kamikaze, which I feel like this looks just like it. Retailing for 150 bucks, dropping on March 3rd. This was definitely one of the popular basketball shoes in the 90s with that asymmetrical design on both sides of the shoe that was definitely fire over 25 years ago these things dropped and it still remains to be one of the most compelling and historic sneakers on a basketball court let me know if this is something you guys will be grabbing this year to hoop in making his way back for adidas is another classic sneaker the eqt top 10 2010 which is dropping sometime during this season for a retail price of about 140 bucks it's definitely part of the feet you wear line which also features a kobe crazy 97 among others it does have a mesh base with leather overlays and ribbons on the side the classic feet you wear logo is displayed on the heels then you have the zigzag signature cushion which is something i do like on the midsole let me know if this is something that you guys will be adding to your collection from the old school shoes to more of a futuristic sneaker let's go ahead and talk about two colorways of the cosmic unity 3. the first one is as one we win dropping later this year for a retail price of 160 bucks black brilliant orange sail pink spell tropical twist and football gray is the color scheme as one we win will be embroidered on the lateral side of the shoe of course the cosmic unity 3 is constructed with a mix of materials detailed with embroidery weaves throughout the sneaker the crater sole unit remains with the full length zoom strobe which a lot of people do like gives you more of an outdoorsy feel great for indoors and outdoors we also have another colorway the next colorway of the cosmic unity 3 is called the fancy dropping also later this year but will be retailing for 170 bucks phantom medium soft pink bright cactus and light bone is the color scheme this one as well has a mix of materials detail with the embroidery throughout same as the previous colorway let me know of the two cosmic unity threes which one do you guys like more and do you like the unity three or unity two more comment down below next up we have a new colorway of the puma mbo2 this is the flare colorway dropping february 24th for a retail price of 130 bucks but you might be able to catch it in stores a little sooner black sunset glow is the color scheme this mbo2 features the black engineered mesh with the highlighted sunset glow contracting accents of course you have the tpu heel and you have the rubber outsole i like this sneaker the colorway is pretty dope where does it add up with all the other colorways of the mbo2 from lonzo ball to penny hardaway we have the nike air max penny one pure platinum i'm really liking the energy that the air max penny one has been getting lately this one will retail for 170 bucks white pure platinum and summit white makes up the color scheme it does have a mix of leather and mesh materials featuring the white and platinum upper with the semi translucent outsole with a large swoosh on the side as all the pennies do and of course that one cent logo on the back let me know what you guys think about this one from a 1 in 10 scale in the comments below next we have a classic penny the air max penny 2 dropping in photon dust colorway for a retail price of 200 bucks white photon dust black cell along with that metallic silver makes up the shoe white photon dust upper pair with the black metallic detailing i like this colorway a lot might be a little harder to keep clean but it will look fire on the court of course you got the one cent logo on the back featuring the semi-translucent outsole one to ten scale what do you guys rate this penny to and do you guys like the hoop in these or wear them for casual wear other classic nike is bringing back is the nike kd3 uh, pearl dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 130 dollars medium soft pink white and lotus pink it's a color scheme no official images only mock-up so far but it's said to have different shades of pink covering the upper with special details nodding to aunt pearl and the proceeds from the sale of the shoe will go to the kyao cancer fund which i think is a really dope situation do you see yourself adding this to your collection next up we got the nike air more of tempo electric dropping for a retail price of 170 bucks of course no official release date just yet black bright crimson racer blue is a color scheme this of course features the mesh and leather base highlighted with the crimson and blue accents i like that a lot on this shoe the electric detailing on the tongues and insoles then you have the black rubber outsole let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway i definitely feel like it's something you need to see in person what would that leather quality be like and up tempos are basketball shoes but people wear them more for casual wear so let me know if you guys will be grabbing them to hoop in next up we have the adidas crazy infinity which is making its way back in 2023 
Formerly known as the Adidas Kobe line, the Infinity is the last model to join the Adidas Crazy lineup. The shoe features a new zip-up shroud similar to the Kobe 3, which was also a shoe that Kobe never ended up wearing because he left to go hoop for Nike in 2002. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe. Definitely reminds me of the Adidas Kobe 1. I'm liking it. I don't know if I will cop it for myself, but if this is something you guys look forward to hooping in, of course, let us know in the comment section below. Next up is a silhouette by Adidas that I'm excited to see, the Adidas Don Issue 5. This one right here is definitely a head turner and by far his best model of the Don Issue so far. If you like one of them more, let me know which one you like in the comments below. It arrives in the blue colorway constructed with the mesh upper, perforated overlays. You have the suede and new book on the toe cap as well. Mitchell signature spider logo appears on the tongues along the Don issue, the termination over negativity, branding on the medial side, the signature light strike cushioning completes the shoe. I'm definitely looking forward to this Adidas Don issue four because like I said earlier, all the previous models just didn't add up to what it's supposed to be, but this is definitely one I think I want to add to my collection. Will you guys be grabbing a pair? Next up is another Adidas hoop and shoe, the Adidas Harden Volume 7 Silver Metallic, dropping March 2nd for a retail price of 160 bucks. I'm a big fan of this colorway and the silhouette itself. Silver Metallic Core Black Gray is the color scheme. It comes constructed with the mesh build, quilted stitching, and glossy leather toe boxes. Silver and black cover the majority of the upper. You have the signature three stripes on the heel, the boost cushioning as well on the medial side. I like the semi-translucent also for this sneaker too. Give me your thoughts on the Harden 7. Every colorway I've seen on feet definitely looks better than the previous models of five and six. Let me know if you guys agree with that. This next colorway is called Core Black, also retailing for $160. And let me tell you once again, this complete new design for this Harden 7 is definitely a step up and might have saved his signature line. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to grabbing these. This colorway is called Cloud White. As you can see, majority of the shoe is Cloud White, but you also have the Core Black on the inner booty, laces, heel pull tabs. You have the white three stripes on the heels. You have some boost also on the heel and you have that semi-translucent also, which I think is a dope shoe. But I have to say this red scarlet colorway for the Harden Volume 7 is definitely my favorite of the three we talked about so far. Also retailing for 160 bucks. Scarlet red covers the majority of the shoe, but like the other models, you have the core black that covers their inner booty, laces, heel pull tabs. I think that's a pretty dope touch to the shoe. That scarlet red is just gonna hit different the court and it also has a red semi translucent also from a one in ten i give this one a 10 and of all the three colorways this is by far my favorite let me know which one you guys like the most next up we got a sneaker that has a little buzz with it when it comes to anime the jordan zion 2 naturo versus Sasuki dropping february 20th for a retail price of 130 bucks let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection are you an anime fan black laser blue yellow strike dark purple dust and metallic silver is a color scheme this shoe right Right here has all kind of references paying homage to Naturo and Sasuke in different ways from the insoles to the graphics on the shoe and of course you got Zion's logo on there too I'm a fan of this colorway I know there is some hype apart about this shoe and I'm pretty sure there will be a little resale value to it so if you're somebody trying to grab it you might have to put in a little extra work for that but overall give me your thoughts about this rate this from a 1 to 10 in the comment section below next up let's talk about a few colorways from John Morant and Nike the first one is the midnight colorway retailing for 400 bucks anthracite metallic silver and cobalt bliss makes up the color scheme it comes constructed with the leather and mesh build with jaw branding placements all over the shoe you got the Savorsky stones that are covering up the nike swoosh which i think is a dope touch and that's pretty much why this one is retailing for 400 dollars one part that i like about the shoe is the translucent blue outsole that is one thing that's fire about it it does have john Morant signature handwriting in the insole that says it's 12 a.m. somewhere. The Savorsky crystals, the 12 a.m. lace duralates, as well as the jaw signature branding is definitely one of a kind. What do you guys think about this colorway from a one to 10? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Next up, we got the John Moran Scratch that's retailing for only 110 bucks. And I feel like this might be the best colorway we've seen so far. Rapid Teal, Black, White, University Red, and Monarch is the color scheme. It pretty much has the turquoise blue upper detailing the Grizzlies claw marks. I think that is fire. The midsole and swooshes have the scratches as well. Signature branding throughout the shoe and the jaw logo on the tongues. 12 on the heels to complete the design. One to 10, this right here is 
definitely a 10 and it's spot on with the Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys back in the day reminds me of Mike Miller or excuse me Mike Bibby but this one is a 10 out of 10 and one that I definitely feel like I have to add to my collection I got another colorway that I'm gonna talk about a little later in this video so stay tuned next up we have some leaked images of a new LeBron 20 speak your truth which is a collab with uninterrupted which is his company also retailing for about 200 bucks with no official release date just yet black coconut milk hyper royal and topaz gold is the color scheme this right here features the black base with white tongues and laces you got blue detailing along the inner booting and heels i like the aged midsole look for this lebron 20 definitely one of the best colorways so far you got the double stack swooshes of course with speak your truth printed on the heel tabs one to ten scale let me know what you guys think about this lebron 20 we got another colorway i want to talk about but i'll mention that later on in the video so stay tuned next we got a couple colorways of the air jordan 37 low this one is the nut and bonnet retailing for 175 bucks which is paying homage to michael jordan's outfit that he wore during the original mcdonald's commercial in 92 i think that's a pretty dope touch and that they're paying homage to that black white university red bright concord solar and laser orange is the color scheme as you can see it has the black leather base detailing nothing but net print on the tongues you have the white rubber sole and then you have a few colors on the outsole as well i like that color combination this next colorway of the 37 lowest call fraternity retailing for 175 bucks as well dropping on march 2nd and i do like this color scheme military blue white midnight navy true red and sky gray it also comes with a mix of materials detailed with greek letters on the left tongue's badge i like the semi-translucent heel counter and you have the rubber outsole to complete the shoe of the two that we've seen so far i think i do like this one the most let me know what you guys think about the jordan 37 and 37 low do you guys see yourself hooping in them next up i want to talk about another colorway of this air jordan 37 low bread this one will retail for 185 bucks and it's dropping on march 30th black metallic gold university red and dark gray is the color scheme this 37 is a little different it has the mix of translucent lino weave on the quarter panels along with the neoprene and suede materials you have the carbon fiber plate on the midfoot along with that soft formula 23 foam i like that a lot of all the three colorways we talked about so far i think this might be my favorite colorway the bread one because of the mix of materials that they use which is different from the previous models but yes it is ten dollars more at 185 final colorway of the 37 is the women's team red dropping march 8th for 175 as well team red sail university red and muslin as a color scheme this right here comes constructed with the mesh panels and an embroidered pattern on the overlays a carbon fiber plate of course and the soft 23 formula phone which is something that a lot of people like when it comes to the 37 lows of all four colorways is this the best one yes or no next up let's talk about jason tatum's debut sneaker which is actually coming out in four colorways out the gate the zoo colorway is the first one which is inspired by jason tatum's favorite place to take his son deuce this one has different animal patterns all over the upper the second one is called st louis which features the retro colors of tatum's hometown baseball team the next one is called pink lemonade which is represented Presented by Tatum's favorite drink. Then you have the barbershop, which is available in adult sizing, which kind of represents Jason Tatum's confidence when he gets a haircut. I like that. I like the spin on that. Of course, the first colorway, the zoo colorway, is dropping April 7th. The second St. Louis is dropping April 18th, all for a retail of 120 bucks. The pink lemonade is dropping later in June on the 20th for a retail price of $120. Then you also have the pink lemonade dropping in June for $120. And finally, you have the barbershop dropping also around that time for a retail price of 120 bucks of the four colorways you've seen which one do you guys like the most of course comment in the below the shoe features a lightweight reinforced tpu frame that so it doesn't have to have so much materials on it that's what makes it light it also has an uncaged air unit in the forefoot to help provide the energy return i'm liking the way the shoe looks let me know what you guys think overall next up we have the billy eilish nike air alpha force 88 dropping later this year for a retail price of 130 bucks coming in the white fire red black and neutral gray colorway you can't go wrong with that of course they have the full leather build upper with the rib collar signature midfoot strap you have aaf 88 branding on the tongues you cannot go wrong with this sneaker overall from a 1 to 10 scale what do you guys rate this one next up is the nike kobe 4 pro show gg dropping may 1st for a retail price of 180 bucks i'm curious to see how available these shoes will be 
white black metallic gold and bright emerald is the color scheme this offering of the kobe 4 pro Tro features the white leather base with black detailing and you have plaid along the heel counters you got gg embroidery with her jersey number on the heels you got kobe logo and gold on the tongue i'm not mad at this shoe at all i just know a lot of people will be trying to get it and i'm hoping a lot of pairs are made let me know if you guys will be trying to cop them in the comments below next up we got some more here from adidas they're bringing back another one of those crazies the adidas crazy one laker aka kobe dropping february 18th for a retail price of 150 bucks it comes in the footwear white bold gold and court purple color scheme i definitely seen this in person and it looks good is this something that you guys will be grabbing a hoop in this kobe is definitely not a bad shoe for basketball it is a basketball sneaker this crazy one features the signature molded upper with the grip halfway shell on the toe spoiler on the heel a mesh inner booty injected with a eva midsole and the torsion system which completes the design for the shoe overall give me your thoughts about this kobe in the comments below as i stated earlier i had one more job to talk about and here it goes dropping later this year for a retail price of 110 bucks i love this color scheme it's definitely fire and a head turner game royal black university red photo blue bright crimson and vivid orange is the color scheme this offering of the jaw one comes with a mismatch design using the game royal and university red on each pair it features a mesh build with the reinforced midfoot and wraparound swooshes the signature jaw branding of course with the number 12 on the heels you cannot go wrong with that you got the speckled midsole with the mitch match on it i'm liking the way this color combination looks of all the jaw ones that have been coming out so far which one are you looking more forward to and also we have another colorway of the lebron 20 which is definitely a head turner the lebron 20 laser orange dropping june 8th for a retail price of 200 bucks laser orange racer blue hyper pink with the white added in there is definitely a dope touch let me know if you guys are feeling this colorway laser orange knitted upper double stack leather swooshes i can't wait to see what this thing looks like in hand we haven't seen lebron wear it yet i've only seen images online but this is definitely one of the standout colorways of the lebron 20s do you guys see yourself rocking this colorway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so as you can see, when it comes to basketball sneakers for the next few weeks to months, we got a lot of heat to look forward to. We got debut sneakers from Ja. We got debut sneakers also from Jason Tatum. We got a new silhouette from the Don Issue line. Let me know of all these basketball sneakers, which one you guys looking most forward to. There's a lot of heat. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section below. Hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to check out BoscoSgoodies.com, you dig?